Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to set up schedules in Ansible Tower so you can run your playbooks or jobs in Ansible Tower language so you can run those according to a set schedule. So for example if you have uh, updates that you want to do or if you have a backup playbook that you want to run we're going to be setting that up in Ansible Tower. So if you didn't have Ansible Tower, how would you set that up with just Ansible itself? Well, there's different ways, but I mean, one of the ways would be cron. So if you're not familiar with cron, it's just a, basically a Linux scheduling program where you can say uh, at so many, at every day, every year, uh, at, so, at any given time, really, run this program. So that's basically one of the ways that you would set it up in uh, with without Ansible Tower. And just a quick heads up, crontab.guru is really nice to uh, kind of validate your own if you're putting things into the crontab file, which is just one of the files that is that holds the schedule of what to run. So crontabguru, just a quick shout out, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, you can you can go and then you can also see that's really good. So, uh, you know, just can validate your, that's true. Uh, cron job failures can be disastrous. So with Ansible Tower, we're not going to be using cron. We're just going to be using the schedules section right here. So what I'm going to do is I have this Red Hat update YAML playbook. And basically what that's doing is that's going to reboot too. So I'm thinking I want to run this like once a month. You know, if there's kernel updates or something that requires a reboot, I don't want to be doing that all the time. But once a month is decent for that. Now, security updates, you want those more frequently. Just common sense says if there's an issue, you want your uh, applications patched. So what we have here, and this is what I'm going to be putting into the uh, creating a new job and then putting it in for a schedule is this I, I just have this security colon yes it's pretty small security yes so what that basically does is just say upgrade packages but only do security ones and then I'm not gonna I'm not going to uh, reboot either so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna just set this one up so first thing just do really quick I'm just gonna create another job template and the schedules is where we're going to be putting this stuff in. But let me just get this stuff first. So I'm going to do this on a weekly basis. And this is be just kind of a quick little thing about how you would set things up uh, and how it is kind of quick to run things here. Credentials, I'm going to select these Ansible user. In previous videos, I set that up. I also set up the host inventory. This is from GitHub Playbook Sec Update. So remember, the project points here, and then that's how you see these things. And then this is my hosts inventory, and the inventory is just pointing here as well. So not what this video is about, but just a little review. So. Let me do a quick check of this, and it looks good. I want a little bit more verbose for that, though. OK. So I can't do schedules yet. So I'm going to save it, and that should highlight itself where it allows me to. And there you go. So schedules. And it's all very just kind of common sense. And I'm just going to go and say UTC for this stuff. And Red Hat update schedule. And I have the other one running at midnight every Sunday, first Sunday of the month. And the start date, you can just change when you want that. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's do it, 
let's do it Sundays and let's just do it at eight every month not every month every week uh, so then end never you have that and then this is what's nice here too you have uh, just when this is going to happen and then you can change it to UTC uh, seven hours behind is my current time zone here and we're gonna do that so that is it for that and I think that's why I just just to see UTC here is my local time zone and then local time zone doesn't change so in this case I don't think it matters because the time's not changing just because if you change your time zone uh, to something else that's how you can have a little bit uh, more of a view on what's happening there all right we'll save it and now we will have a schedule right here and that's just in the schedules tab so let's just run this really quick we're just gonna run the uh, run the job and I'll pause this we'll come back make sure that it works and then we'll just take a quick look at the schedules pane and we'll be done and we're back and a quick uh, little issue here is in previous videos I set things up to run as uh, an Ansible user and then elevate with sudo to get to the uh, root to be able to you know download packages and updates and things like that so uh, there is a problem here it has to be run under the root user so one thing I forgot to do is I did not put become yes under the sec update playbook so let me do this and this will be a good test as well of actually when this runs again uh, I it's set up to pull the most recent version like update the playbook on run so I'm gonna do this one more time and it should work this time and I'll we'll find out alright and we completed successfully this time and you can see here uh, SSH password become and that was because I had to add that uh, become yes in my playbook and we did see that it did update uh, from Ansible the playbook was updated before it ran and that's why it worked this time so the only other thing is I mean if you only have one or two uh, schedule like scheduled jobs then it's uh, you can kinda go in templates and look around here too and see but really the idea is you, you should have you'll probably have more of these so the schedule section here you can just go uh, edit the schedule if you wanted right here but really this is kind of where you can turn these on and off things like that and it's that's where your schedules would be easy enough so that's all I had for this video just showing you how to set up schedules and uh, schedule jobs in Ansible Tower so that's all I had for this video and stay tuned for future videos.